Hi guys, welcome to another video. After last week's video, we had a request to show how to use these stainless steel inserts. This is to allow you to change your Dyneema connecting line on your bands. It also gives you a method of using these uh, bands in a closed muzzle where you need to feed the rubber first through. So this will allow you to exchange bands on a boat out at sea with just one simple knot. Let me show you how it works. Quite simply, hold it through the large hole with the long nose pliers, a little bit of silicon oil, force it in. That simple. We now tie it off the same way we would tie any wishbone. Flare out the off cuts. Burn it from the top down. Don't burn your finger. And obviously repeat the same on the other side. And there you have both inserts in place. You now need a length about 20 centimeters long. The best is to find the best edge. There we go. And then on the opposite side, we've tied a figure of eight knot. Figure of eight is not a conventional granny knot. That's a plain granny knot. You need to go an extra time around the main line, back through the loop. Don't need to teach you that. You can Google that anywhere. Now feed that through the large hole and out the smaller hole. that gets it in position. Always leave a bit of a tag here. This is in, to enable you to pull it out if and when you need to exchange it. This can be done in the water. Same again, but the reverse direction now, through the smaller hole, out the larger hole. Now the length you want in the middle is entirely up to you. We set them up roughly two fingers. So there's a two finger space. It looks very close, but remember the knot's now going to pull. So now we do another figure of eight on the other side. Bring it up fairly close. If you have a vise, haul on it. These will pull in to some degree. Cut that one off, remembering to leave a tag. Something you can grip if ever you need to change it. So there you have it. Easy as that. Obviously, these are reusable. Cut, take them out, reuse them. And being stainless should never overload them to a point that they break 
All the inside edges have been well buffed and polished so it won't damage your Dyneema. Point of interest, we also make this model, which is designed for many of the Euro type muzzles where you have screw in plastic inserts with your rubber attached to them. So with Euro muzzles, you unscrew your plastic section, screw this in and force that in exactly the same way we did with the others and tie that into place. That gives you a much cheaper option because this can be the rubber can be replaced. You don't have to pay for the addition of the plastic fixed length pieces. You can adjust this exactly how you need. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stand by for next week's.